This is some unbelievable scenery. Dirt road just follows. This is the old railroad grade, but it just follows. Is that it? No. It's around the corner coming up the next mill. We can walk to all the other mills, park and walk. They're all near each other, but further up the road, there's a few I want to see, but. And it's just a bunch of rocky cliffs. Seems like the rapids are picking up a little too. People to face in rocks. We are officially in the Pine Nut Mountain Range. There it goes. See, it gets better. Mm -hmm. I've seen pictures further down, and it yeah. gets way better once you get down past the this area. It gets the road gets wide and good because there's a bunch of dirt roads that lead to smelter. See, they're up on that hill to the left is a, a mill. And coming up to our right is going to be a mill. See, it's smoothing out now. Just keep an eye out for... Um, yeah, this is where it's... This is where our next area is at, coming up. Wow. Oh, I see a house. Where? No, dude, that's what that's our next site. Oh. That's where we got to go. All right. I have to see which way to take. Well, I'm walking it. <laughs> here, let me just Let's go here. And we can park in front of it. It's pretty amazing back here, huh? There's actually, if you walk up over the hill, there's another big area of foundations. I'll show you, but we need to be careful. There's people that have thrown their glass bottles around or cans. Wow. That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me park up here. Look at that. Wow. Yes, these are areas you should bring metal detectors. Because we're gonna, I'm gonna park here. There's a couple mills, but I'm gonna park right here. I don't wanna block the road, so I'm gonna get on the side. I forgot which one this was called. I think, hold on. Let me look, give me, where's my map? Oh, here, no. Yep. That's with the tunnel. And then if we take this dirt road, you see this dirt road right here? That leads to a giant mill. It's was named three different ones so let's get out let's get some pictures I'm gonna look on the GPS for that lake because I think if we go up the small part of this hill the lakes right there we can just backpack it up and have lunch all right anyways folks I'm gonna park in front to get out of the way just right on the side and we're gonna check out this there's pumpkins they were shooting them dude pumpkin shooting Wow Look at that. Happy Halloween.
right? I need to be careful because there's another mill up there. And you can see this is someone's dumping grounds. Like for example, the this here, some old glass. Look, you even have pottery. So there is some archeological pieces left behind, but uh, not much. You have these holes. Oh, I know. I know what this is. Hey guys, that's the Miramac mill there. This is the Earrington smelter. Above is more parts. Let me tell you, I'll just give you guys a lowdown about the Miramac mill and the Earrington smelter. This is the smelter, guys. That's the mill. But, um, what can I tell you guys a little bit about it? The Merrimack, which is over on the river. Here, guys, take this. The Merrimack is somewhere on the river. And then the smelter, the Yarrington smelter, is right here. Now, there's a lot of key pieces of information. And there's numerous names because when it was first built, this was called the Blue Canyon Mill. The mill's up above, the smelter's on the bottom. And they also called it the Copper Canyon Mill. And between 1861 and 1863, it was called the Copper Canyon Mill, I believe. But it started off as the Canyon, and then finally, that same year in 1863, they just called it the Yerington Smelter. And Yerington is a, a little town nearby. And what I want to do is there's supposed to be a bunch of foundations up on the hill. I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is walk up here and look. There's some piles of uh, crumbling ruins. And see if I can get anything. Get some nice scenic shots. Then we'll do the Merrimack Mill. And then we got to climb over. I see where the boys are. we got to climb up through the woods here. And there's a lake up there. We'll have lunch. So we, you know, we have our work cut out for us. Obviously, there's quite a few other mills I would love to go, including the Santiago. I don't know what's gonna, if I'm going to do it or not. It depends. Depends on how bad the road gets, how far we got to hike. Uh, this is this is backcountry. You know, sometimes it's it's pretty scary backcountry. I mean, when you see something like this, this is this is a female shoe. And, and you know and I mean this is kind of creepy too guys I found a creepy clown doll back here guys come here when you're done look at this this is creepy man holy crap that scared the bejesus out of me the bejesus out of me oh, it does. look there's a woman's shoe look there's a creepy don't even touch it look smiling at us. <laughs> it's creepy. That is a weird find, dude. Dude, I'm... Really? I know, but I'd like to take a photo before you mutilate it. I don't need that. Very funny. Did you... Hey, go up on the hillside over where you're going and check back there. Guarantee you'll find something. See? Wow. This place is strange, man. I'm going up on top to see some of the ruins. Well, that's a straight cliff down. <laughs> Interesting. All these little mills here and there, just all over the place. But uh, I definitely see a lot of little old roads that go to different places. But I don't see much remaining of these places, so we'll cover what we can cover. Don't want to get too close to the edge of the cliff. But you can see 
Yarrington smelter is over here. I believe I seen pictures of Blue Canyon Mill recently, and there was many foundations, and all I'm seeing is a smelter. Uh, there might be more further down the road. I don't know. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and take this path over here. Is there's a road. You can take the road along the river, but it all meets up here. And see if you look. It goes right there and around and through the mountains. And there's more mills around the mountains. There's like four more mills. And then if we get out and hike, you can follow the river goes through the mountains. You follow the river and there's three more mills. And those are in real good shape. So there's also a very large complex made out of stone here. So I think we're going to want to get down there and explore that later. We got our work cut out for us. There's no doubt. Wow. A little narrow between those rocks. Is that what they shoot at? No. Then what? Yeah, we're not going there. Dude, that's a building. Are they going? Take a quick peek at this place. Gets dark early back here. All right, dude. No, but I'm gonna get some pictures of this real quick. Plus, it warms my feet up from the river. If I walk, I don't feel cold then. You can get the basketball, dude. Uh, wow, this is amazing. Dude, basketball's wrecked. Huge hole. Someone put a bullet in it. Holy crap, man. Wait a second. Before we go inside, turn the recorder on. You know why? Might get some EVPs inside. Mm -hmm. I don't. I forgot my light in the truck. Oh yeah. That's a lot. They're all dead ends, I think, yeah. or caved in. What's over there? Can you look in the corner, around the corner? Yeah. Just take a peek. Wow, this is cool. Probably a dead end like that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Blue Canyon Mill, which the Yearing Smelter is just on the other side. It's all, it's all part of the same complex. You can go in the entrance and there's a few rooms. If you go on the back side, there's giant concrete pillars. Uh, there's some other, there's these concrete foundations. I have pictures. I will attach them in this video just so you can see. This is one of the finer mills left in the Pine Nuts. So yeah, it is important that we give full coverage and give it what it deserves. a lot of bullets out here to it it's used it as a shooting range but uh yeah i've never been this deep in the pine nuts it's been quite the adventure my legs 
are soaking wet. Look at that. Crossing the Carson River. That's dedication.